Previously on Baldur's Gate 3. Description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. Human, what are you doing on Gek's raft? Where's Gek? Who so? Are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with either, naturally. The last thing I want to do is ruin these nails digging through rock. What are you waiting for? Hmm. All right. Blast the data bits! Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nay, does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save her. I see your idiocy is surpassed only by your ego. Shut your shitholes, both of you! You owe my crew a ten days' worth of coin, near, And it's time you shell out. Direct your blade at the heretic, Dwergar. You shall have your coin. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. We beat your ass and dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Nair is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Heretics. Let near be your end.
death won't take me yet. <laughs> with. Turn someone inside out.
Yes. Sometimes the only way out is through. This feels good. Take you! I'm not going to last much longer. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Shindil Rin's shithouse. You see it? Cock Stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. I always keep my word. Clan! Grab your gear, wipe your asses! Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Clan property. They come with us. Speak up, Chief. You can't just let the clan keep them. Hardly. They drag their feet, and I'll scorch their asses. Works every time. Your brain going mushy, Shark. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The General, near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. <coughs> Please. We catch your scent. You'll get sliced before you can butt your left eye. Now lug your ass someplace else. I got to get cracking. Man. Come on. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Never seen a lantern like this. Just a sprinkling of dust at the bottom. To all appearances, the dust seems quite ordinary. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. It was over in a flash. They're at peace now. Please, I end. Could have been you. I can't bear to think about it. Awake and alert. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched.
Absolutely not. The boat beckons you aboard. Spent much time in the Underdark. Some? And you? Seems a perfect hunting ground for... you know... Perfect. You try drinking Earth Elemental's blood. Flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. So many minds connected. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. We'll be clearing out soon enough. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. Her bobs died down. Uh -huh. so, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Ah, 
It was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. An axe-bearing mountain of fur she was. Gave me a nasty scar. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. <laughs> Look at that beast. Seems almost too big to take flight. You go a lifetime without seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. I tangled with a... What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham! What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. <laughs> Can we kill them? Please. Pretty please. What easy prey you make, walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. 
Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Curious. I thought even the lowest of creatures had at least a shred of dignity. You prove me wrong. But there's a repellent logic in your words. You may notice things a noble gift does not. Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. Dragon destroyed the road. The Gif Knight is as merciless as the dragon he rides. That we still have our heads is nothing short of a miracle. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up,
The crush must be nested in that temple. Our cure is close. It is done. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Contraptions are hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. If the Gith are looking for that artifact, then we may have something valuable on our hands. And it's a powerful weapon to boot. Things are starting to look very interesting. If Yankee patrolling these wilds is an unexpected surprise, whatever they seek, they'll not hesitate to kill us if we stand in their way. You wish to speak? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. It takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. I'm sure we will. <sighs> But, in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days.
Nothing. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly. I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please. Do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help, then, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Giths would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Giths' own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. At last. Hatazith! I knew I was right about you beasts!
This view's almost worth the walk. Well, some rests better than none. not going to work. Damn! Might not be the time. Someone doesn't like visitors. So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. So the Githyanki aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Looks like an ambush. Grimishkas. Better be careful with any magic. Spawn set them off.
magic around these things is more trouble than it's worth. Helped. Right here. 
ready. some punishment.
something over there. Monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. I very like spicy food. Eagle seems satisfied, but keeps a watchful eye on you. on my people. <clears throat> so, you and Lazel. Seems terms. Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Note. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. 
Leute wurden? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. I'll see you tonight. You must have questions. Your skull trembles, your parasite wriggles. Lazelle sees your memories of your confrontation with Kithrak Voss. Voss? Gestil Kithrak, Knight Supreme. An honorable warrior, Vlakith's finest. I am impressed. He wanted your head, yet it remains firmly atop your shoulders. A lesser woman would be adorning the road as a shredded corpse. Lead then. Take us to our cure. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Copper for your thoughts. Fuck yes. Hey, good looking. Mm-hmm. 